Welcome back. We're asking you to take it to heart. This is the Heart Association's biggest event of the year. And WJXT has been a proud media sponsor for many years with the First Coast Heart Walk. It is the largest walk in Jacksonville. About 25,000 people come. And for the past 27 years, thousands of people do gather downtown supporting survivors and those who have lost their lives to heart disease and stroke. But this year, things are changing. They have to. The Heart Walk is going virtual due to the pandemic. It just wouldn't be responsible to have it. So joining me now the morning on the morning show, Stein Mart, CEO and chair of the 2020 First Coast Heart Walk, Hunt Hawkins. Hunt, I haven't even had a chance to meet you yet because we are doing everything virtually, but excited once again to be a part of this, even though things are having to change. Talk about the planning for an event this big to go virtual. Well, Melanie, thank you for having me. It's exciting to be a part of it. Uh, listen, we all know how different things are this year because of COVID-19 and how they've impacted our lives, and they're going to impact the Heart Walk uh, this year as well. So uh, while our traditional First Coast Heart Walk has always been held in person, this year we're going to do it virtually, as you mentioned. But we're just as excited because uh, this gives us an opportunity to do the biggest Heart Walk we've seen yet, you know, with over a million people coming together across the nation, getting active and raising awareness and funds to help us save lives. So by putting in the experience online, we're able to reach more people than ever. You know what, I think that we're finding that with even events we're doing here at News for Jax is that you do have more engagement. You know, one thing I think that'll be different is, you know, I think at Heartwalk, everybody ends up, there's some people cry because you hear everyone's story, <laughs> what they've gone to, you relate to it because you've lost someone or you know someone who has heart disease. So it's important that everybody get involved and there's also ways for people to, to stay engaged. For sure. I mean, look, the uh, the Heart Walk's always been, it's, it's, it's more than just the event itself. The experience has always been one about teams coming together across the community and in the weeks leading up to the Heart Walk and, and raising awareness and uh, getting ready to fight heart disease and stroke, which are our number one and number five killers in America. And the day itself was more just about celebrating. So COVID-19 has given us even more reasons for us to uh, lace up uh, because, you know, 40% of the people that are admitted to the hospital for COVID-19 are either stroke survivors or uh, people with heart disease. So the American Heart Association continues to invest in new research and training frontline workers while they continue that fight against heart disease and stroke. And how we just put up the numbers. It looks like the goal is to raise more than $2 million. Right now, it's at $1 million. So that fundraising is a big piece of this, but it's almost like twofold because then you just want people to participate just to learn and to glean something from it so that they could potentially save their lives. But I know you work hard to get folks to donate too. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, listen, at Steinmart, we do a lot of things. We, uh, you know, we had a uh, Life is Why You Give campaign early in the years and our very generous customers help us to raise a lot of money. We do a lot of things around the corporate office to, for our folks to get involved and to raise money. And that's what's happening across the community. Everybody working together to raise awareness and raise money and help us meet and beat that goal. Okay, so how does a virtual walk actually work? So the virtual walk this year, you know, what we're going to really ask everybody to do is to uh, uh, sign up um, and uh, it's going to be kind of a, whoa, sorry about that little feedback, a little one of a kind experience. But um, on September the 12th, we're asking everybody to head to Facebook Live at, at AHA First Coast, um, where we'll see all that's going on and be able to celebrate together to see everything that we've accomplished. So get ready, lace up. Um, that, that way you won't miss a single step and you can get all the information you need at firstcoastheartwalk.org. All right, so we have it up there. Hunt, good to talk with you. September 12th, 9 a.m., go Facebook Live, and we're going to do this thing together. I'm still going to help at MC. We'll have some tag teaming going on. Um, it's www.heart2heart.org, and we'll get that on our News for Jacks with more information for people to sign up. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Melanie.